We've designed our pipe network. Here we've got a detector with three pipes and now it's time to make sure that the sensitivity of each of the holes will meet the requirements. So here we've got a system that's currently defaulting to class C. We actually want to create a class B system. See, as soon as we do that, we've got some of the holes that are okay, but most of them aren't. If we want to actually see which holes correspond onto which entries in the table, we can click on an entry in the table, see it highlighted in the 3D view, or we can click it in the 3D view and we'll see it highlighted in the table. Anyhow, back to our problem, we want to look at changing the smoke threshold so that we end up with a class B system. Now you'll notice that Aspire actually suggests what the class, what the threshold needs to be to just make class B and that's this 0.118. But if we were to make a system like that it would be quite brittle and any change in the implementation from the design, even a hole being slightly smaller or burr on a hole could start to put part of the system um, from being to make it but make it not compliant. So what we want to do is to allow safety margin and here we can adjust the safety margin between say 0 which is none to up to 50. So let's go with 25% um, which is the default and that gives us a much more conservative estimate for our threshold. So if we apply this threshold here we get a warning um, then we can see that we're now class B compliant but we've also got this safety margin built in. Now if we ever wanted to work without using the N5420 limit we can, we can go up here and just go down this blank area here which switches off that limitation and then we can set the threshold to being whatever we'd like so up to a maximum of 20 so we could set it to being 12 quite happily and now the system will be checked against that threshold. So basically that's what's involved in um, working with the system and making sure that it fits within a particular EN5420 limit.